Hello guys, we continue the series that started yesterday on this channel, analyzing the requirements of senior jobs related to Laravel. I will remind you, for those who haven't seen the first video, the link will be, by the way, in the description below, but I've analyzed 50 random job descriptions, and here they are on my screen in my admin panel from Lara Jobs, Indeed.com, and LinkedIn. And in the series this week on this channel, we're discussing different topics related to what you need to learn as a senior Laravel developer. Topic of today is source control, meaning Git, basically Git, GitHub and everything around that and related topics to that. Continuous integration, continuous deployment, CICD and automated testing. Why did I group those together? Let me explain in this video. Let's start by just searching for Git in this list. It is mentioned 33 times out of 50 jobs. Of course, in some job descriptions, there may be multiple times, but still majority of those jobs mention Git as a requirement. And of course, it's kind of like table stakes. It's a minimum thing. If you work in any kind of a team, source control is a no brainer to use. Even when working alone, it's kind of convenient for the history of changes. So without learning Git, you probably wouldn't even get the junior developer job, not to mention senior. But again, similar to databases in the previous video, there are more nuances to that. Let's read the examples of how Git is used. So for example, in this job description, there's Git mentioned, but also GitLab with CI CD pipeline and AWS ecosystem. So this line takes this Git line to absolutely next level. And that's why I've grouped together in this one video, Git with CI CD. Let's take a look at more examples. Another job description from LinkedIn is fluency with Git, CI CD, and what's related to it. Again, grouped together. This one you have seen already in the beginning of this video says not just Git, it's GitHub, not just GitHub, but GitHub Actions. And that is then related to deployment and CI CD. Speaking of CI CD, how many times it was on the list? If we search for CD, it is 10 times. Out of those 10, by the way, one is about CDN, so that doesn't count. So we have nine CI CD. And if we take a look at how those are formulated, building and maintaining CI CD pipelines, source control without mentioning Git or GitHub or whatever with CI CD again, deploy code to production service using CI CD pipeline. And for those of you who don't know what CI CD is, Let's search for the word contin and there's continuous integration and continuous deployment. So some job description mentioned not CICD, but full words continuous integration and deployment seven times, which means that in total CICD is mentioned 16 times out of 50, which is quite a lot. So you already get the picture. Git with deployment with CICD is required in many of those senior job descriptions. And related to that, as you can see, sometimes CICD involves unit tests, or in fact, it almost always come together in real life. CI CD tests is part of it. And let's take a look how many of the jobs require automated testing. So if I put in the word test in that search box, can you guess what the number will be out of 50 test? The number is 54. Of course, the word test may be in a different context. But in most cases, it's related to automated testing. So unit tests, quality and testing with test driven development, use testing frameworks like PHP unit or PEST. And if we ungroup and remove those duplicates, I've counted that 32 out of 50 jobs mention some kind of automated testing. And out of those 32, 16, so half of them specifically mention TDD, test driven development. So if any of you still don't write automated tests with PHP unit or PEST, basically you won't be able to get senior developer position with Laravel without that in your skill pocket, as well as advanced level of Git and CI CD for continuous deployment. Finally, what I want to mention in this video as kind of random stat, which of the Git source control is more popular? If we search for GitHub, seven times. GitLab, two times. Bitbucket, also two times. And you would say that it's not a huge difference. Seven, it's not a big number probably, but that's kind of the point. The ads don't mention the specific tool like GitHub or Bitbucket, but they mention Git as a source control that you would know how the whole mechanism work because maybe in the future, the company would move from GitHub to GitLab or vice versa or something like that. You need to know how things work 
with source control and all of that ecosystem. And the tool like GitHub, Bitbucket or GitLab, it's kind of like a secondary piece of knowledge. So what do you think about all of those numbers and examples from job ads? Maybe I did some wrong conclusions somewhere. If you want me to search for anything extra, you can put that in the comments below. I will search for you and provide the answer in the comment. As a final note, kind of like a joke, I want to mention what I tweeted about from one of those job description. This is the minimal requirement how you can work with Git is to not break the master branch or main branch. If you know your way around branches and how to work with that so not to break master branch, you're one step ahead in your at least junior developer career. Or as a senior developer, probably you would protect the master branch from anything wrong to happen in the first place. Tomorrow we will continue the series discussing these jobs and topic of tomorrow will be backend frameworks. So on top of Laravel, in addition to Laravel, do you need to know something like Symfony or other frameworks or maybe even other languages? We will discuss tomorrow, so subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.